Hi, so my recommendation for today is a classic murder mystery series. Um, it's the Peter Wincy Harriet Wayne series, which a number of you might have already read, but if there are those amongst you who've, who have never heard or who have heard about it but wondered if it was quite for them, then I'm here to tell you that you should probably pick up a book. The Wincy Wayne series is actually set um, right after the, the First World War. So it's set in the 1920s and um, it features Peter Wimsey, who is an upper class British gentleman. He's the son of a duke, um, incredibly privileged, but he's just come back from the First World War and he has tremendous amounts of survivor's guilt and uh, PTSD and he's trying to deal with it. What the first book really does is that it sets up a really good look into Peter's psyche. You know, what is, what is it that makes him tick? And what is the cost that he must pay for the work that he does? Because there are scenes in the book where he is responsible for, you know, a master criminal being caught and being sentenced to death. Um, and he really cannot deal with it because to be responsible for even one more death is uh, horrendous for him, but he also has the sense of justice, which is what lets him um, continue in this vein of work. Even though he's fabulously rich and he could be idle all day and he's tremendously privileged, um, and he is often seen as one of those dilettantes uh, who take to detection, which makes me wonder, like, were there a lot of them? like? Did the British upper classes just have a bunch of idle young men who would be like, well, I guess today I'm gonna go and solve a crime. It just seems to be a stereotype and I don't know if that was something that just came out of books such as the ones written by the Queens of Crime, which is uh, Agatha Christie, Marjorie Allingham, Gail Marsh and Dorothy L. Sayers herself, as well as Georgette Heyer, whom I will be talking about later on. Now, as far as the reading list is concerned, I have a suggestion. Um, I think you should start with Strong Poison, which actually was published a couple of books into the series, but that's where you meet Harriet Vane, who um, is sort of Whimsy's reluctant client, muse, uh, love interest, eventually wife and partner. Harriet Vane is an incredibly interesting character. Whimsy is interesting because he is sort of uh, an example of what a good author can do with a stereotype in that he is an upper class British man, but he is absolutely not the stoic, uh, stiff upper lipped, um, you know, uh, invulnerable sort of man who can just sort of go into situations and become the master. I mean, he is he does have a stiff upper lip, he is British and he is from the upper classes, but he also has this inner monologue and uh, he has the psychology as a survivor of the First World War that make him much more, uh, not soft, but more emotional than others of that variety, so to speak. Harriet Wayne is also uh, different from other women of her sort, of other characters of her sort, in that she is a very independent person. And I don't mean she is just an independent thinker, although she is that. Um, I mean that she is financially independent and she's very conscious of the class difference between the two of them. And it plays into a great deal of their interactions with each other. and. Um, it's also the reason why it takes them a long time to get together officially, even though he falls for her almost immediately. And so does she, actually. In fact, one of the things that I really love about this series, even more than the murder, uh, that sounds wrong, but you know what I mean. But one of the things I really love about this series is the relationship between Harriet and Peter in that it's a really good look at what these two people must accomplish in order to um, in order to make space for each other in their life you fall in love and then you have you know you live happily ever after but what does that look like how do you achieve that when you are 
two very modern people with very distinct lifestyles and ambitions and opinions about how you plan to live the rest of your life um, and what your principles are and uh, and these books basically work on that it's about two very headstrong very distinct personalities coming together and making a life for themselves and uh, while they do that they also solve crime which is uh, very much up my street However, I will say that if you're not a big fan of the British murder mystery, if you don't like um, that sort of sepia-tinted uh, murder mystery vibe that you get from a lot of these books, then maybe the Peter Wimsey and Harriet Wayne books aren't for you. Um, and they're also very well written, uh, so which is a plus in my book, but I have heard from people who prefer a more um, informal style of writing that sort of developed over the 80s in my opinion um, and this is not one of those books it's very much of its time period uh, Sayers was an excellent author and uh, the work really shows however I will have other recommendations coming up so you should stay tuned <laughs>